Welcome back YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you more tweaks and hidden features that I spotted in Android 12 Developer Preview 1 that I didn't see in other videos. And in the second part of this video I'm going to show you what to expect in future builds which is going to make you more excited about Android 12. So let's take a look at the hidden features in the Developer Preview 1 but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video so let's jump in let's start with the one-handed mode after installing developer preview one you will not find the one-handed mode anywhere on the phone and to be able to get it up and running you need to use an adb command that i'm going to show you now on the screen and also i'm going to leave it in the description below after activating the one-handed mode the only difference you will see is under settings and here i have it side by side with android 11. as you see all the menus has been pushed towards the bottom to be closer to your thumb while using the phone with one hand the second difference you will see is the menu items are categorized in groups but without names so for example network and the internet and connected devices are in a group and then you will find a white space to separate it from the second group that includes apps notifications digital well-being and when you scroll you will find more groups like this one you have here privacy location security safety and emergency grouped together and so on the sub menus also follow the same design language as you see here the menu name is a lot bigger compared to android 11 with plenty of white space at the top no matter where you go inside settings you will see everything is pushed down next the apps and notifications menu in the one-handed mode is separated into two different menus one for apps and the other for notifications when you go inside apps you will only find the settings related to apps and it has nothing to do with notifications plus you will see the most recent four apps you opened or stacked on top of each other while here you will see only three apps that are next to each other so the rest of the menus like conversations notifications and all this stuff will be located under notifications now and as you see here when we go inside notifications we have pretty much the same page but with different menus so that's pretty much it when it comes to the one-handed mode if you used the same adb command i mentioned at the beginning of the video but xda developers managed to activate another feature related to the one-handed mode that i'm going to show you right now as you see here in this quick video by swiping down on the navigation bar you will be able to pull everything down for easier reach which is very similar to the reachability gesture in ios but i couldn't find any way to activate this feature and xda developers are not planning to share this for now next the media controls and in my previous video i showed you the new media output button which is much smaller than the one in android 11 but what's new here by tapping on this empty space you will be able to get the media output controls which is not possible in android 11 plus it has this new animation that i have never seen before and on the lock screen you will be able to change your media output without the need to unlock your device so as you see here when i tap on this area or use the media output button it will allow me to do this while here in android 11 i have to unlock the device the second difference on the lock screen is in the whatsapp notifications as you see here on android 11 the whatsapp notification is a little bit more expanded showing you how many messages are waiting for you while here in android 12 it's totally collapsed however on android 11 you will see the messenger notification is very similar to the one in android 12 only whatsapp is doing this type of notification which is not the case anymore in android 12. finally the shading color on the lock screen matches the device theme in android 12. so as you see here is how it looks in the light theme and here is how it looks in dark theme both ways in android 12 you will be able to see your lock screen wallpaper which is not possible in android 11. next the notifications in android 12 when you set any conversation as priority the orange ring around the app icon will animate briefly and the notifications shade will not be collapsed so let me show you this again while in android 11 none of those two behaviors will take place as you may know setting a conversation as a priority will show you that profile picture in the status bar but in android 11 when you reply to this message from the notifications shade the profile picture will disappear and you will only see the normal app icon which is not the case in android 12 as you see here i'm gonna reply from the notifications shade and i still have that profile picture next 
the reduce bright colors feature has a tile in the quick settings area and finally under developer options there is a new button called reset notification importance after that adaptive notification priority and ranking which doesn't exist in android 11. next the bubbles feature and as you see here in android 12 the app icon is on the left side while here in android 11 it's on the right side and that's because the app icon is adaptive depends on where you're gonna place your bubble it will change its position to be more visible which is not the case in android 11. another visual change you will see here there is an orange ring around the messenger icon because this conversation is set to priority and the same conversation in android 12 is set to priority as well but you will not see the orange ring anymore and the messenger icon is a little bit bigger and finally the recent bubbles card is much smaller in android 12. now let's talk about the home screen and system navigation and the first to change the quick app shortcuts can now be shown in the center of the screen so for example i have google photos located in the center on both phones but here the card is shifted to the side with a small arrow pointing towards the app while in android 12 the card is centered and there is no arrow pointing towards the app but if we're gonna do the same thing with any of the apps on the sides they will act exactly the same next in android 12 when you tap and hold on the scroll bar to jump to a specific letter you will get a haptic feedback with every letter change which is not the case in android 11. next the swipe up gesture to go to home screen now works in full screen mode as you see here i have the same photo open in full screen mode on both devices and when i swipe up in android 12 i can go to the home screen straight away but in android 11 it requires two swipes but keep in mind that this new behavior doesn't work with each and every app but google photos is one of the apps that works at the moment next the recent apps screen animation is slower in android 12 so take a look at the google search bar while i'm accessing the recent apps as you see the google search bar is fading away slowly compared to android 11. the second change in the recent apps screen with a single swipe you can go in and out of the recent apps by tapping and holding and then swipe up or down but this in android 11 will require two different swipes next the display magnification feature got a new option when you go to settings and then accessibility then magnification you will see a new menu item here called settings when you go inside settings there is something called magnification area and here you can choose either to magnify the entire screen or the magn or magnify part of the screen so i'm going to choose the new option to show you how it looks as you see here i'm getting a floating window that i can place anywhere to magnify the part that i want and if you have the two magnification options active you will get this icon at the bottom right corner when you tap on it it will take you to the full screen magnification tapping on it again will take you back to the floating window next the ability to hide the display cutout in developer settings under the drawing section you will see display cutout in android 12 there is a new option called hide when you tap on hide it will push everything down and a black bar will appear to hide your display cutout but it doesn't work perfectly at the moment as you see things are misplaced on the screen even when you open apps so the search bar is not fully showing so i don't recommend to use it for now one more change before jumping to the second part of this video when you connect your phone via usb to the computer you will see this new toggle called transcode exported media if you have this toggle turned on the phone will transcode the media and let me show you how it looks as you see here i'm transferring a video from my phone to the pc and i got this notification saying transcoding media but i found the media transferred using this way is not playable on my computer so it's better to turn off the switch before transferring media if you have android 12 on your device before jumping to the next category let's give a quick shout out to today's sponsor cdkoffers.com from cdk offers you can purchase original microsoft windows 10 and office keys in a very discounted price not only this but you can also use my special promo code id20 to get extra 20 percent discount as you see you can get yourself a windows 10 oem key for 16.18 dollars which is insanely cheap please check the links in the description below now let's get back to the review now let's talk about what to expect in future builds and the first feature i'm going to show you is the scrolling screenshots in this video the developer is showing us how the feature works once you take a screenshot you will see a new button called scroll 
Tapping on this button will scroll one page at a time and then you will see this new interface but unfortunately the feature is currently broken. The second feature is the ability to stack widgets. In this video, Michel Rahman from XDA Developers is showing us how you can stack two widgets. It seems like the scrolling will take place horizontally instead of being vertically like an iOS. Next, the picture-in-picture -picture improvements. The first improvement is the ability to use pinch to zoom to resize the window. And the second feature is the ability to dock your picture-in-picture -picture window to the sides. It doesn't work as expected definitely it's still broken but this is how it should look like in the future next there are two new tiles in the quick settings area one for muting the microphone and the other one is for blocking the camera by this you will be able to completely block the two sensors even if your apps have access to the camera and the microphone next the wallpaper based theming system or in other words android 12 will automatically change your device theme based on the wallpaper you are using and here are some mockups created by one of the developers to show you how the feature might look like in the future and as an example setting a wallpaper like this might change your device theme to these colors and so on and so forth these are just examples and they are not picked up from android 12 itself but he tried to pick the colors from Google's palette to make it as close as possible to reality. We might also see some tweaks related to the lock screen. Here is how it looks. A big clock in the center. The date and temperature are shifted to the side. And here is how it looks when you get a notification. We might also see some visual changes in the quick settings area. And as you see, the brightness slider looks totally different from the one we currently have in Android 11. Next, a new swipe down gesture to quickly access your notification shade from any screen. And here's an example for the feature. By swiping down on this area, you might be able to pull down your notification shade. And that will be very useful if your device is using face unlock or if you have an under display fingerprint. Next, Android 12 prepares double tap back gesture for the Pixel 5. And here's a screenshot from a Pixel 5 using the first developer preview of Android 12. And by going to the double tap menu, you will see five different options to choose from. The first one is to open assistant, take a screenshot, play and pause music, see recent apps or open notifications. And finally, there is a toggle to decrease the sensitivity by turning on require harder taps. But currently the feature is broken and doesn't do anything. And when it comes to notifications, there are some changes to expect in the future. And the first one is the removal of the half swipe to snooze notifications because the snooze button is now visible. And if you want to access the settings, you can simply tap and hold on the notification. Google is also working on a new sound profile for the notifications called automatic. This new profile will let the phone automatically decide if the notification should produce a sound or vibration only based on machine learning next android 12 might support app pairs in the future or in other words you can launch two apps at the same time in a split screen using one icon this is not something new we saw this feature in microsoft duo and also you can download an app from the play store to do the same exact behavior it's called split screen and i created here a pair of apps and when I tap on this icon, it will launch two apps at the same time, Amazon and the calculator. So we might see it natively supported by the operating system. Next, Android 12 might support smarter auto rotation by using the front facing camera to see your face and adjust the screen orientation based on it. Next, Android 12 might support a new gaming mode, but it's not clear for now what it will do exactly. Next, Android 12 prepares conversations widget and here's how it might look like in the future. You can choose whatever conversation you want and then add it to your home screen as a widget to quickly see the messages and notifications you are getting from this contact. Here is another screenshot confirming how the feature will work. It says here recent messages, missed calls or activity status. And here is another look for the widget. We're not sure yet how it will look like exactly in the future, but at least we know what it will do. And finally, Google is working on a new incremental file system, which means you can play big games before they even finish downloading, which is something similar to what we have seen in gaming consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. This feature is currently in development, so hopefully we're gonna see it in Android 12. And this is one of the features I personally got excited about. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the hidden features I spotted in the first developer preview of Android 12 and what to expect in the upcoming builds. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.